all right now welcome back to my channel well we out here uh working on my car today because you know i was telling you about last night we spilled a little oil out of it. if you look down the turbo you can see it when it starts leaking see all that so first let me get this line loose and get the fit now if you look this line like i said i think it's a dash four let me pull it out i'm gonna show you all a trick to build your own or build your own restrictor for the turbo you look well you can't see but if you look the turbo is like sitting with oil inside so i'm going to pull my drain loose and check it I'll show you right here see how this is beveled it's got a little bevel in it that's how big the hole is so what we're going to do i'm going to show you right here let me go get a jet right quick and get you set up right here so if you look you see the bevel on the end of that well just so happened that bevel is the same as that bevel you see the shape of it that line will seal off on that. So what we do, and that just so happens, see this this small nitrous jet, this is uh, the small shanks, if you look at the end of it. This is a 68, so see, I can restrict it down. You can look at, let me see if I can show you in the light. See the hole that size there? See the big, so I can, I can restrict it down. I got different size nitrous jets. See, this is a fat shank, it won't fit up in there. Not without drilling it, but it's fatter. If you get these little small ones like this, it'll slide right on up. Well, I lost that jet. You get these small ones, it'll slide right up inside it. So all I have to do, I have to go back to the garage and take and cut that bevel off top of that. Flatten that out to where that is, the, like that right there. And I'll have me a way I can change out the restrictor on it, put different sizes in it to figure out what exactly it likes. There's a calibration online that you can go through and uh, I can me use a measuring cup and see exactly how much it's flowing to know exactly how how big of a restrictor, oh sorry, to know how big of a restrictor I need or whatnot. So let me get this machine down a little bit. And I'll All right, now I got it grinded, so now I'm gonna take my hand file and my hand file at level. All right, now it looks like this. You gotta make sure you Teflon this because this becomes your seal now. Because if you don't Teflon it, You've made a, a leak right here, and it's going to leak on them threads. So let me put it together and test it real quick. See what I'm talking about. I did it for a second. and got no leak on it, so that's a good thing. I'm going to pull the drain off of it later on. I'm going to measure to see how exactly how much oil is pumping per minute. Just to check see if we're right right where we need to be at. But like I said, we're right getting... Now, we got it up operating temperature. 